Sam. I've been looking for you. I want to ask if I could use your telescope for a bit. Sure, that sounds great. I love using my telescope to look out into space, but today I'm looking at these pictures of people in space. Living in space sure seems different than living on Earth. There are people living on the International Space Station right now. That's a big spaceship where people do experiments and learn about space. I wonder what it's like there. Wow, you're right. It does seem different. I mean, there's people hanging around in the air upside down. That certainly doesn't happen here on Earth. Eh, if you're a bat, it does, but not if you're a human. You definitely aren't upside down right now. <laughs> that sure would be fun to hang upside down so easily, though. Whoa, what is that they're playing with? That is water. That's water? It looks totally different than it does here on Earth. I agree. Water definitely doesn't float around in blobs here. Wow, look at this. They're hitting the water like a ball, and it stays together. It doesn't splash at all. Things sure do behave weirdly in space. You're right. Things do behave differently in space than they do on Earth. We can pretty much always count on things to behave a certain way here on Earth. People don't ever float around, unless they're swimming, I guess. But let's keep thinking about water. Let's make a prediction or guess. What do you think would happen if we poured some of this water out on the table, Sam? Uh, it would make a big mess. That's what would happen. The water would pour down and it would spread out everywhere until it ran over the table and down onto the floor. You're exactly right. So I'm not going to make a mess right now. But Sam, how did you know that would happen? Hmm, well, I guess I knew that because that's what water always does. It always spills. That's right. We can always count on water to do the same thing on Earth. Hmm, this is starting to feel like a pattern, isn't it, Sam? That's not all we can predict. What if I poured water into a glass instead? Uh, it would go into the glass. Not just that, but it would become the same shape as the inside of the glass. Watch. Whoa, you're right. I never thought about it, but the water doesn't really have a shape. It's just shaped like whatever container it's in. So what do you think the water would do in space? Well, I think if we poured water in space, it might float. You're right. I don't think that the water would even stay in the glass, would it? It would probably just float right out of there. And the water is more blob shaped. It can't really take the shape of its container when it's not in a container. So, based on our observations so far, it seems like things also behave in a predictable pattern in space. It's just a different pattern than you'd expect on Earth. Yeah, in space, water doesn't seem to spread out. It sticks together in a ball and it floats around. Here, let me show you an even cooler example. Wow, is that a candle burning? That sure doesn't look like any fire I've ever seen. Think back to the candles on a birthday cake. What do those look like? The flames on a birthday candle are pointy. In space, they made a round ball. But they've been pointy at every birthday party you've ever been to, right? Your last birthday cake had a lot of candles, and all the flames were pretty pointy. Um, you're right. It was a lot. In space, though, the flames are always round like that. So we can still predict what fire will do, even though it's different. Birthday parties on the space station must be pretty cool. But what is it about space that makes these things act a different way from Earth? Ooh, great question. And this gives us a chance to answer a question that was sent in by one of our viewers. It's because of gravity. Eli, age five, asks, what is gravity and how does it work? What is gravity? Great question. Gravity is the force that pulls things down. Actually, not down exactly. The Earth pulls things toward its center. That feels like down to us because it's the direction we're being pulled. Scientists are still trying to understand how gravity works exactly. But basically, everything has a little bit of gravity and it's pulling all the time. Like 
When you drop something like a ball, instead of it just floating around in the air, it's pulled down to the ground. We've already noticed that people don't just float around in the air on Earth. And when you pour water out on the table, it spreads out over the table because it's being pulled down toward the floor. This is all thanks to gravity. The space station isn't that far from Earth. Why doesn't the water on the space station act like it does on Earth? Earth's gravity does pull on the space station, but the water on the space station acts differently because the space station and everything in it are moving very, very fast. So fast that even though it's being pulled down by Earth, it still keeps going around the Earth in a circle. It's like it's always falling toward Earth, but never hits the ground. Imagine if you poured a glass of water over a tall cliff. Now imagine if there was no ground. The water would keep falling forever. If you could fall down with the water and watch it, it would seem like it was floating. That was a great question, Eli. It helped me understand living in space better. Yep, we're used to things acting a certain way on Earth, and a lot of that is because of gravity. People don't float around, water pours downward, even fire is pointy because of gravity. In space, all those things are different, but we can still observe what they do and predict or guess that a candle will burn in a ball or that water will float in a blob. I'd love to play with water in space. Those astronauts look like they're having so much fun. I bet it would be a ton of fun, but it's fun to look at space too. So can I borrow the telescope now? Can you come up with some other things that might behave one way on Earth and another way in space? Like, I wonder what cooking is like in space. And is washing your hair different when water floats? Plus, what happens when astronauts go to the bathroom? Thanks for watching SciShow Kids. You could ask a grown up how to send questions to us. They can get started at patreon.com slash scishowkids. And thank you for joining us here at the fort. Bye.